Barn owls are extremely beautiful birds. And watching them fly over the fields and valleys of the Yorkshire Wolds is a beautiful sight. And they've inspired many of my paintings, including this one. Right, so I'm starting a new painting today and this is one of our barn owls that we've got here. So I'm gonna start off putting the sky down first. And this is done in acrylic, so I have to work really quick before this dries. It's already starting to dry, so I'll just get a bit of water on there, mix it in. It's then time to start adding in the clouds. So the roller just softens some of the brush strokes out and blends it a little. So I'm having to get up on a ladder to have a look at this painting now to see what I've actually done, because I'm working really close to it. Uh, so I'm just seeing sort of where the owl's going to lay across this painting and that's starting to look good. Need to introduce some more colours into these clouds. Just really gradually done, get a bit more warmth in there. It's just amazing how many different colours there are in these clouds and you're just trying to pick all those different colours up in a really subtle way. So I'm just marking out the foreground, which are going to be the bushes and some grasses in there. So this is uh, working from the darks to the lights. So that's got the painting to where I want it to be for now with the background. So I'm going to pop it up on the drawing board. And I just want to even these clouds out now with the airbrush. Once I'm happy with the airbrushing, it's time to get the outline in. This painting is of Willow, a female barn owl I know well. I do the outline using coloured pencils. I've got the outline of the owl in there now, and it's a case now of just blocking in those basic colours. Then can move on to the details of the facial disc and then the wings. So I'm just using the airbrush at the moment just to give these feathers a really soft approach, just knocking back some of those brush strokes that are just a bit prominent. putting really fine layers of paint on with the airbrush and sometimes you can barely see it going on but it is definitely making a difference bringing more colour into these wings. So once I'm happy with these wings I'm going to start putting a dark markings on these feathers and it will really start making a difference to the painting then. So after months of working on this painting, I think it's almost complete. But what I do is keep stepping back, take a look at the picture, and just see if there's any little bits still to do. And I think a few highlights on the grasses will be good. It's always hard to know when to stop painting, but I think this picture's complete now, so it's time to get it into a frame. I hope you've enjoyed this painting journey. From blank canvas to finished painting.
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.